What can we say about uh, terrorist attacks uh, in Moscow on 22nd of uh, March 2024? And what do we really know about it? But first of all, I want to express my deepest condolence to the families of the victims because uh, I'm always on the side of victims. Media uh, went ballistic whole, in whole world. But uh, I never trust uh, 100% to uh, media sources. There are various reasons, but uh, the facts are saying. Video footage is from the scene. A group of uh, armed persons entered Crocus uh, concert hall and started uh, shooting all around indiscriminately, which is a definition terrorist attack. They killed, uh, according to official sources, uh, 115 plus innocent civilians. Immediately after uh, the attack, nobody took uh, responsibility or claimed the responsibility for the attacks. That's very strange. However, a few hours later, Apparently, uh, Islamic State group took responsibility. I was trying to find on the uh, internet uh, uh, from various sources uh, a clear statement of uh, any representative of Islamic State uh, which uh, confirms that, but uh, apparently uh, the responsibility has been claimed somewhere. I would appreciate if somebody would share with, with me uh, that footage. Credibility of uh, that uh, statement has been confirmed by United States uh, intelligence, uh, some uh, intelligence officers. I don't even know who they are. And media didn't show it. Okay, so let's assume that uh, Islamic State really uh, attacked uh, Moscow, civilians in Moscow. What would be the reason? What would be the rationale? What would be the logic of that act? We know the Russian Federation uh, inflicted uh, severe uh, damage to Islamic State uh, in Syria. And according to various sources, uh, various analysts, uh, it could be kind of a revenge act, which is possible. But uh, Interestingly, immediately, maybe less than one hour after the attack in Moscow, the Ukrainian officials uh, denied uh, any involvement of uh, Ukraine in all, all that. However, that uh, didn't prevent them uh, to continue uh, aerial attacks on uh, oil producing infrastructure on the Russian territory. Well, the war is uh, ongoing between Russia and Ukraine and uh, uh, destroying the uh, enemy's economy is uh, uh, totally legitimate. This uh, committed by Islamic State is very, very different and, uh, let's say, unusual. I'm speaking uh, uh, about all this as a master in international relations and diplomacy, but my master thesis was uh, about uh, 
geopolitics of neoliberalism and international terrorism in correlation. During my research uh, for master thesis, I realized that uh, terrorist groups uh, worldwide always work for somebody. Because logistics, especially if, uh, if you plan uh, terrorist attacks uh, on, on the territory of another country, it costs. And uh, it's uh, very difficult uh, to transfer secretly a lot of money because uh, those operations require a lot of money. We could uh, see on uh, those uh, footages uh, filmed uh, by, by the victims uh, that uh, this group uh, used uh, contemporary uh, models of famous uh, AK-47, actually, uh, I think uh, I could see AK-74 and uh, newer models. Also, they used uh, flame grenades uh, and, uh, yeah, that uh, concert hall was burned to ground. But also, what is uh, unusual uh, is that uh, no hostages has been taken. There was no clear uh, political message behind the attack because uh, there are more than 200 uh, different uh, definitions of uh, terrorism. But uh, in all those definitions, there are a few elements which uh, must be met to be called terrorism. One of those things is uh, use of uh, illegal force uh, to create uh, fear, and insecurity, but uh, the most important is uh, there should be political message behind. In this case, so far, I didn't see uh, any political message. Have you seen any? If, if you found anything, please share with me, share your thoughts uh, in comments below and uh, help me out to uh, better understand this uh, problem. Interesting thing is that uh, there was no intention of uh, the uh, terrorists to sacrifice themselves. They tried to escape to Ukraine. Whoever is behind these attacks will use this uh, for their own agendas. According to Russian FSB, security service, they arrested a group of uh, 11 uh, attackers with uh, Tajik uh, passports on them. And this raised a, a question. Why... Tajik citizens who committed the terrorist attack on behalf of uh, Islamic State have uh, attempted to run away to Ukraine. Uh, they were uh, captured uh, near Bryansk on the border with Ukraine. And it's very convenient now for Russian authorities to justify the uh, future military uh, attacks as a retaliation for the terrorist attack uh, committed by whoever terrorists are. But uh, they blame uh, Ukraine as a mastermind, Ukrainian security services that uh, they... Uh, equipped and uh, and helped out uh, uh, those uh, terrorists uh, to commit uh, the attacks in Moscow. So let's let's use uh, simple logic. If somebody committed a terrorist attack, 
and they are sponsored by Ukraine. Is it logical that uh, they would uh, go straight down to Ukraine? Maybe. But it would be smarter if they just uh, moved east from, uh, from Moscow and, uh, let's say, lay low in city of Kazan, which is full of... Uh, people from former Soviet republics, uh, uh, they have a huge Muslim community, also huge uh, Tajik community, and they would uh, be almost in invisible for uh, Russian security services. And then they could, uh, you know, without any weapons, just sit on the plane and fly straight to Tajikistan. Oh, there are so many uh, strange things about this uh, terrorist attack. A lot of things will come up uh, later. We know that uh, uh, actually we heard uh, that uh, United States uh, intelligence services uh, shared information about possible terrorist attack uh, in Moscow around 7-8 March uh, 2024. But apparently Russian intelligence services, uh, they said... Uh, Either it was uh, not precise enough uh, or uh, simply that information was, uh, well, you know, just uh, spread around uh, to destabilize uh, Russian society. I don't know, what do you think uh, about uh, this uh, terrorist attack? Leave your comments, share, subscribe. There is no safe place uh, in entire world. Terrorist uh, attacks uh, can happen wherever. And it's impossible to prevent. Okay, to a certain degree, if uh, intelligence services uh, are doing their job properly and they get lucky, uh, they can prevent uh, some terrorist attacks, but uh, in most of the cases, if uh, uh, terrorists are uh, determined uh, to commit terrorist attack, uh, they would do it, unfortunately. I will keep on following on this uh, issue because it's uh, totally strange. I'm in contact with uh, my colleagues, uh, security and political analysts, uh, and security experts, and we are trying to brainstorm to figure out uh, what actually happened. And I can tell you there are a lot of uh, unknown things uh, which and puzzle things uh, that uh, confuse uh, everybody. Was the real message? There is no message. Just to, to kill people and uh, what? So, stay tuned and until next time. See you.